We trust that through darkness comes light, and we are seeing that as we hear stories of bravery after the tragedy. Our Jacqueline Lee met with a woman who says Ryan Keith Cox saved her life right before the gunman killed him. Picture a Friday afternoon at the office. You're laughing with your coworkers as your ice cream sundae is melting by your desk because you guys just celebrated two birthdays. That was Christy Dewar's Friday afternoon until it was quickly interrupted. I happened to look at my computer, it was 4.06, and I was waiting for the first power hour message. One more hour to go, let's push it through ladies and gentlemen. Christy Dewar says then she heard what she describes as a nail gun. She didn't think anything of it because her work building was about to get renovated. But then a co-worker bursts in. Claudia says, this is not a drill. There's an active shooter in the building. Run, get off your phones, run, get out. And then I heard somebody else screaming, it's too late, run the other way, hurry, run. Dewar says Ryan Keith Cox, known by everyone as Keith, told them to barricade themselves inside the closest office. I said, Keith, and he said, I gotta check on everybody else. And we shut the door, locked it, and pushed a metal cabinet. Seconds later, Dewar says the shooter shot through the door four times, with two bullets almost piercing through that metal cabinet. Um, we were afraid to move. So finally we heard code blue, code blue, please. Dewar says police officers rushed them out into pure chaos. She saw splintered wood and broken doors off the hinges. They had us go down the south stairwell and there was a body there on the landing and covered in blood. They had her covered up. I was, I just started shaking and crying and I, I just stopped and I kept on staring and the officer said, don't stare at the body, look away. I said, I can't do this. He said, yes, you can. You're strong enough. Come on, don't look. Step over her. She later learned that body was Missy Langer one of her friends. She also learned Keith didn't make it. And if he was here today, I'd tell him, I adore you, I love you, and I'm gonna miss you so much. And Dewar says she's thinking about the shooter's family tonight. She says they lost a loved one as well, and she hopes everyone has some compassion for them. Live in Virginia Beach, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now. Cox also was described as a teddy bear. We sat down with his ex-wife, Rochelle Ziegler. She was coming home from work when she saw the alert. Ziegler wasn't sure if Cox worked in Building 2. Then on Saturday morning, she started hearing from people asking if she was okay. That's when she knew something was wrong. Then she saw that Ryan Keith Cox was one of those killed. I saw his picture and his name. And it was, I thought it was like a mistake. So I actually recorded it well, rewind it back to see what I had saw. And then a friend of mine had called and said the same thing. So it was a big shock for her yeah. to see that. But I just went through a lot of different emotions that day. Ziegler says this made her lose her breath and that is caused an instant shock. She is still in shock.